Hey, Van Landers, how's it going? I know if you're listening to me, you're probably not out there rambling off-road, and I'm sorry about that. But as long as we're here, let's talk about wheels and tires. So if you're planning to get way, way, way off the grid, you probably already know that you're definitely going to need to upgrade the wheels and tires on your Sprinter van, and probably the suspension too. So let's take a look at what Mercedes gives you fresh off the lot. This is the 2020 4x4 with 16 inch rims. And needless to say, this does not look very impressive. I will say that I do like the clearance on the Sprinter van. And this is how it comes straight from Mercedes. So I haven't added any additional lift or suspension to this yet. So I think the van qualifies as a high clearance vehicle. But if you really take this off road, the wheels and the tires are gonna hold you back. So if you're thinking about upgrading, here's a couple things that you'll wanna consider. On the pro side, better traction all around, more ground clearance. It looks hella better. And the tires are gonna be much more durable. On the con side, you will get more road noise, decreased fuel mileage, and of course, there's a higher cost up front. So let's take a look at the wheels and tires I selected for my 2020 Sprinter 4x4. For the wheels, I went with the black Rhino Arsenal aluminum wheels in the matte black 17 inch. And for the tires, I went for the BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain in the 265-70 R17. So let's see how this project turned out. Oh yeah! That looks sweet, my friends. Look out, backcountry. There's a new sheriff in town. And the question everybody wants to know, do they fit? The 265-70R17 does indeed fit, I can confirm that. So you can get a 17-inch wheel on this. I did remove the mud flap on both of the front wheel wells, and I'm gonna Use a kit to open up the wheel well and give it some more space before I put the mud flap back on. But this tire does fit with very little to no rubbing if you do remove the mud flap. If you're interested in learning about how to open up the wheel well so that this tire fits under all circumstances and all angles, I'd highly recommend watching this video by John at Alvans, who gives the most in-depth explanation about how you can add the fender kit so that you can have a little bit more space uh, to fit your wheels. The link is in the description. All right, everybody, that's the end of this video. The next minute or so is just me filming tires, and if you're interested in seeing them from a few more angles, hang out. Otherwise, we'll see you later.